Hi, I'm Monta Bryant. Welcome to Module 6 of the Baby Sign Language Basics online learning series. Today we're going to be learning some signs and strategies to use with bedtime and story time. Babies are often fussy in the evening and signing can help ease some of this fussiness. Let's say, for example, you're shopping some vegetables for dinner and your toddler comes into the kitchen whining because she wants you to read a story. You could try making eye contact with your child and saying, first we're going to eat our dinner and then we're going to have a bath and then we can read your book. This response is reassuring to your child because it lays out the plan for the evening and it also still holds the promise of a story. Your toddler is likely to respond better to this than a simple, no sorry, mommy's busy. When it is time to get ready for bed, try signing about each part of the bedtime routine as it takes place. For example, brushing teeth, having a bath, putting on pajamas, sleep clothes, and getting into bed helps engage baby in the process of getting ready for bed and makes it a lot more fun. Here are this week's bedtime signs. Bath, scrubbing up and down. Bear, like you're scratching yourself because bears love to scratch. Blanket, like you're pulling a blanket up under your chin. Bed, or you can do bed like this. Book, like opening a book. Brush teeth. Drink. I love you. I love you. Light. Milk. Moon. Pacifier. Pillow. It's like you're fluffing a pillow near your head. Read. It's like your eyes scanning the page. Sleep. Your hand pulls your eyes closed and your head droops down like you're falling asleep. Stars. Your fingers point up and rub against each other. Stars. Story. This is like stringing sentences together. Tired. Ugh, too tired. When choosing books to sign with your baby, you'll probably find plenty that work perfectly well right in your baby's bookshelf. I like to use books that have clear illustrations or pictures, like this, rather than more busy and abstract pictures. Or like this one. This one's made especially for signing. It actually has a little diagram of how to do the sign right on the page. This is from the Baby's First Sign series by Kim Votri and Kurt Waller, published by Gallaudet University Press. You'll probably find that the younger your baby is, the harder it is to get them to sit through a story. They seem to think that the main point of reading a story is to open and close the book and turn the pages, because they don't yet know that there's any connection between what you're saying and the page the book's open to. When reading to babies this age, it really works better to just point and talk and sign about the pictures and not really worry about following the text very closely or even at all. Now, signing with Storytime does present some unique logistical challenges. You need to hold a baby, you need to hold a book, and you need your hands for signing. So there are a couple of things you can try. One thing that works well is if you're holding your baby in your lap, as you normally do during Storytime, you can sign on your baby's body or in front of your baby's face. So, hot, that's some hot tea. You shouldn't touch that, it's hot. He's going to go to sleep in his bed. Bed. Look, a tree. Tree. Oh, he has the water. Water. So as you can see, you can sign on your baby's body, in front of their face. You can actually even sign him on the book. Water. 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 Another thing you can try is to seat your baby across from you like this. If they're too little, you can put them in their bouncy seat or prop them up on some pillows and read to them story time at the library style. <gasps> Look, blanket. That's a cuddly warm blanket. Oh, it's snowing. It must be so cold. Rain. Look at the rain coming down. And he's wearing his boots and his coat and his hat. Reading facing your baby is a lot of fun because they can see all your facial expressions and look, you can use both hands 
And you can see your baby's reaction to the story too. And you can also see if they're still awake. There's more than one time that I was reading story to my baby and suddenly realized, hey, she's pretty quiet, and then looked, and she was sound asleep. <laughs> As your child gets older, you may even catch them reading a book with their signs to themselves. When my kids were little, sometimes I'd go by their room and I'd see them sitting in the rocking chair, going through a little board book and doing all the signs they knew. It's just so amazing to see them learning how to read a book before they can read or even speak. Some other fun things you can do with your baby at night are you can look at the night sky and sign moon or stars. Or if you see lights from aircraft, you can sign airplane or helicopter or lights. If you have a city view, you can sign about the lights. Or you can try turning a light on and off in the house and signing light on, light off, light on, light off. Your baby will love to push the button to turn the light on and off if they're old enough to do that. That's really motivating. You can also use babies, dolls, or stuffed animals to practice bedtime signs. Come on, baby. Here's the baby. Baby needs to go to bed now. Let's give her a kiss and a hug. Night, night, baby. Cover her up with her blanket. She's going to go to sleep. Go to sleep, baby. Night, night. Now it's time for our song. Today we're going to learn I Rest My Head from the Songs for Little Hands Music CD and Activity Guide that I co-created with my sister, award-winning singer and songwriter Susan Z. The guide has lyrics and signs to go with each song to make it easy to learn how to do them at home with your baby. When the day is done, it's time for bed. I kiss my bear and rest my head. When the sun goes down in the eve, Daddy reads my book to me. When the moon and the stars fill the sky, Mommy sings lullabies. When the day is done, it's time for bed. I kiss my bear and rest my head. I rest my head, I rest my head, all done. Shh. This week, try to include some signs with your bedtime routines and story time. This concludes Lesson 6 of the Baby Sign Language Basics online learning series. Thanks for watching.